Hello and welcome to the Gold Proving Grounds Guide for Healing with Mistweaver Monks. These are the talents that I prefer and recommend to use. And these are the glyphs. My current item level is 657, and I'm primarily set up with Multi Strike and then Mastery as my primary stats. Not hold back. I won't really be talking too much in this guide about the specific mobs you have to face. As being a healer, you don't really do much interacting directly with the mobs. Rather, I'll be talking about the effects you have to deal with more so. As really, that's all that really matters with these mobs. For the most part, with Mistweaver Monks, though you should be fairly proficient if you're doing gold, with them as it is, is almost 90% channeling Soothing Mists. Beyond that, it's simply running through your basic rotation of throwing out some other spells, and you're pretty much good. One of the things I like about monks is that you don't really have to worry about keeping yourself alive too much. You, with your healing bruise, let's interrupt that. First thing you gotta pay attention to a bit is, of course, the debuff. The... I forget what it's called, I'll edit in something. The Aqua Bomb, there we go. Um, the Aqua Bomb that you have to deal with. It's a debuff that gets put on random targets and you have to simply dispel it. So simply pay attention for when it pops, like right there on a target, and dispel it. Fairly straightforward. Beyond that, just keep channeling those mists on the tank. Most of the damage you gotta deal with is simply healing the tank. Now supposedly you gotta deal with these tunnelers, but really aside from just channeling Soothing Mists on them occasionally, you don't really have to do a whole lot with them. Your own Soothing Mists will peel them up just by channeling on the tank. Really, monks have really strong cleave healing. Just keep channeling your Soothing Mists on the tank, and... And, you know, throw at your Renewing Mist occasionally, so you keep that bouncing around, and you're pretty much good. First few waves really aren't any trouble. You simply channel your healing, and you're pretty much good to go. Now, then, when the waves start getting more difficult is when I start running around and throwing out stuns with my legs. Try to keep your tank topped up as much as you can, but don't get who, you know, panicky if he does drop low. That's what your life cocoon is for. Go ahead and just pop off that guy, just so debuff will disappear. Just channel directly on him, and swap back with the tank. Kind of like with tanking, there's no, like, set rules exactly when you're supposed to do certain things. Uh, because it's kind of RNG dependent. You never know really exactly when they're going to throw out a debuff or when they'll jump on one of your other um, people that you got to heal or when somebody's going to really spike down in HP. You simply have to react to it when it occurs. So just simply keep a strong eye out on your party's HP and debuffs. Keep renewing mist rolling. Oh, Aqua Bomb on me. Dispel that. And I'll just go ahead and throw that on him. It's a little bit of extra damage in wave 5. Things start getting a bit more dangerous. Make sure we dispel those. And go ahead and do a buff. And hit that. Mm, debating on whether or not just to go ahead and blow. I'm going to go ahead and blow Revival. Not wasn't devastatingly necessary to blow it, but blowing it now means it'll be back up by the time I need it for a more da dangerous wave. And it makes things fairly simple. So if you're going to blow Revival Priest, um, you know, free some of the more difficult waves, go ahead and blow it on wave 5. As you can see, I really haven't had to focus on myself at all, or really even drink my tea. Oh, there's the Aqua Bomb. Dispel that. A new challenge. Illusionary conquerors. Oh, here's the Illusionary Conquerors that we're going to have to deal with. Power. Whenever they enrage, when it basically, whenever they get really big, just be prepared for a spike of damage on the tank. They're the only ads you kind of have to pay attention for them. Like you see, there's the spike of damage. Just keep channeling that, empower that, 
pop him off. And I'm going to go ahead and just chug a Chi Brew just because it was about to top off. Try to keep your Chi Brew rolling too. You always want the, at least one of those on cooldown. Because you want to, of course, max your manatee. I'm going to go ahead and chug that, by the way. Just to top off my mana. As you can see, I'm not really having too much mana issues. And I'll just go ahead and top off my Chi and keep that from, you know, falling off. I'm just going to run in here. I'm going to stun everything. And go ahead and just top this guy off. Probably going to blow Life Cocoon this wave on the tank, if he spikes low enough. Yep, I'm just going to go ahead and blow that on him, just to make that easy. And I'm actually going to blow a big heal on myself. Might have to actually hit a few Surging Mists. The damage did spike up fairly heavy in here. Gonna run through some of these orbs just to heal myself up a bit. Pop another Chi Brew. And top off the tank. Another Benefit Mist. And then I need to actually heal myself a little bit. And there we go. Wave 7 had a little bit of a, of a tough time, but again, you know, you've got your cooldowns. You're pretty good for that. And 30 Revival will be back up in 30 seconds. I'll probably be blowing that on the final wave, though. I'll go ahead and stun everything there. Just to reduce that damage a bit. Empower my Enveloping Mist, top off the tank. And keep channeling. I'm not sure why he's yelling out about that, because he's not really taking that much damage. He's still pretty topped off right here. Spread around some Renewing Mist. For the most part, doing um, healing with the Mist um, Weaver Monks, you just channel on the tank. Your healing is very cleavy. It'll just, channeling on the tank, just spams heals on everybody else's too. Your Renewing Mist goes off, and you're good to go. Try to avoid hitting Surging Mist. I've really only clicked Surging Mist outside of empowering it with my Thunder Focus T a couple times. You really shouldn't need to. Don't panic too much. You want to generate most of your Chi. I'm just going to go over here and stun both of these buggers. And in about a second here, I'm going to go ahead and hit Enveloping Mist on him. I need to chug a Chi Brew so I'm not wasting it. I do have my life cocoon back up. I might be hitting that on the tank here. Yep. Oh, and I made a mistake. But it'll be okay. Oh. And I wasn't paying attention to the aqua bombs. Try not to do that. If one goes off, it's not devastating. But if you let a couple go off in a bad sequence, you know, you're gonna be effed. It's hitting enveloping mist. Pop off the tank. Dispel that aqua bomb. Keep that channeling going. I really don't want to have to hit Revival. I don't think I should have to. You really want to save Revival for Wave 10. If at all possible. But I, I'm doing pretty good on mana, so I just hit an extra Surging Mist just to top him off. Keep Renewing Mist going. And we're pretty much good here. I'm going to go ahead and chug my mana tea while I'm kind of just sitting here waiting for them to finish that off. And we're good to go. Here they go again. I'm gonna go ahead and just stun that guy. I'll just put the debuff on my buddy, so I'll just top him off. I've got two focuses of charge, but I don't really wanna waste my chi yet when he's pretty much at full health. But oh, there we go. Now that gives me a chance to top him off. Incoming few more guys. But I've got revival, so I'm just kinda waiting to push revival. Oh, Aqua Bomb on me. Damage isn't actually really that bad. To be honest, right now I probably could have, since I also do have Life Cocoon coming back up in just a moment, I probably could have blown Revival in the la on the last wave. There's the Bloodlust. Let's just top around a few of these. Keep channeling on the tank and you're good to go. I probably don't even need Revival. 
Oh, wait. Dispel that. Actually, I'll just go ahead and blow it just because it is the last wave, and I might as well. As you can see, just keep channeling the Surging Mist, spread around your Renewing Mist, dispel whenever the Aqua Bombs are placed, and do try to focus whatever target gets jumped on by the Gnawing Vermin. Whenever you see that Gnaw debuff on the target, you have to heal them up to about 90% of their HP to get that debuff off of them. Wonderful job, everyone. Do all this correctly, and the wave goes down without too much difficulty. I hope this guide helps you out, and thanks for watching.